Army heads to UTSA. UTSA is an eight and a half point favorite, total of 44 on this game at 6 p.m. Central Time on ESPN on Friday night. And this is uh this is an interesting one because UTSA has not been all that good here lately. Uh, it's, it's very surprising to see what this team looks like, and there's a chance. I think that he's going to play, obviously. We will see. But Frank Harris may not play in this game, or at least that's what it sounded like from Jeff Trailer earlier in the week. Again, I just had a baby. I haven't kept up with all the news. Uh, but we're going to try and handicap this thing anyway. The offense for UTSA has been not good at all. Number 114 PPA per pass. Uh, number 68 PPA per rush. Army's defense, pretty good against the pass thus far this year. So, I we'll, we'll take a look at this. Now, Army on offense, number one in PPA per pass. Granted, they only throw the ball 20% of the time. But, regardless, um, UTSA, I mean, pretty good defense. It's number six PPA per rush allowed. Army, number 109 PPA per rush. Because Army offense, they're trying to figure some things out. Uh, you look at things like turnover margin. You look at, you know, penalties, stuff like that. This all leans Army's direction. And the new clock rules obviously make it difficult for any team to be able to run away from a service academy. So, eight and a half seems like a lot of points here. Uh, you look at the overall raw statistics, it would have UTSA favored by 3.79. But the power ratings have UTSA favored by 9.3657 up there, up at the very top. Uh I think this is a rough spot. UTSA not quite into conference play yet. This was a tight game last year. Uh, granted, it was played at Army, but this is a spot where I'm going to I'm going to back the Black Knights. I'm going to take Army plus the eight and a half. Uh, doesn't seem very hard to you know take a, a service academy as an underdog. Uh, but granted, this one's only single digits. You know, the best number I saw was eight and a half for Army on this. So that is the direction that I'm going to go with it. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.